Namaskar. Good morning, dear students. Today's date is 9th June 2020. As you all know, we are learning Unit 3 Fascinating Science. In our previous video class, we learned vocabulary. In vocabulary, we learned how to find the word meaning of new words by using dictionary. Then, in practicing grammar, we learned about the connectors. Connectors that indicate effect. Which are they? Therefore, so and thus. Connectors that indicate reason. Which are they? Because, as, for. And connectors that indicate purpose. So that, so as to, in order to. In writing, we learned about the information piece. In that, we learned the structure of information piece. What is the structure? Title means name. Okay. Then intro introduction. Then main body and conclusion. Right. Then after we learn the plug-in activity. In plug-in activity, we learn the punctuation for connectors. We learn that for, but, so, thus, and it need comma. And as because in order to so as to and so that doesn't need any kind of punctuation right and we also read out the poem the secret of the machines in our previous video class and you have uh, received one homework okay to complete the vocabulary and practicing grammar task of textbook now today we are going to Know the meaning of the poem, the secret of the machines as per the stanzas. Now let's start reading with me. I will explain you one by one. We were taken from the mine. We were melted in the pit. We were cast and hammered to design. We were cut and filled to fit. Some water, coal and oil is all we ask. And a thousandth of an inch to give us play. And now, if you will set us to our task, we will serve you 24 hours a day. In our first stanza, we are going to know about the process of making machines, right? Means how we can. Uh, where we can find the material, raw material. What is the raw material used for to make machines? Coil, oil and some water, right? And we can uh, add the iron bars, right? To make machines. Uh, basically, we find iron in the iron mine, right? Mine means uh, the place where we get the metals, right? Then they are melted in a pit to make, to form any kind of design or structure of a machine. They have their uh, process of making machines. For making the correct design, they have to melt. Then they pour the melted metal in the structure. And it can be formed. Then they have to hammer it, cut it according to the size. Then the thousand inch means very small button or the key is used to start to give the command of play to the machine. Means machines are the things which can be run by pressing a very small key. Right. This is their quality or speciality. Right. Then what is the quality of machine? What is their use? They can perform any task which is in their category of work and they can work without tiring 24 hours. Right. Means machines are the things which can be made up of raw material and these are used for making our life easy and full of facility. Machines can we help us to live happily and they can work for us 24 hours. This is the meaning and this is the content which is important from first stanza. Now let's see from third st second stanza. Pull and how to push and lift the drive. Lift and drive. How means to pull something with a lot of effort. Right. We can print and plug and view and heat and light. We can run and race. 
and swim and fly and dive we can see and hear and count and read and write so let's see this stanza with its meaning the second stanza is uh, telling us the criteria the categories of machines which we use to make our life easy first we can pull and how if you have seen that small square boxes which are having wheels at the bottom are used to pull heavy things from one place to another in the factories right and at you, our home also if you have seen the cylinder gas cylinder we are having one rolling circle to keep it on it and whenever we need to keep it away from the kitchen and to move it uh, it from one place to another we use that small circular uh, machine to pull it from one place to another this is also one kind of machine then we can push and lift and drive means machine can be used as lifts elevators we every day we use lift from uh, going up and down in our buildings right then drive we are using cars bikes then trains to go from one place to another place right then we can print and plug means machines can be used as printers we can get printed books we can get printed newspaper just because of machines why because they are doing their work more effectively and correctly and this printed material is quite easy to uh, communicate rather than speaking it orally or writing it by hand because it is taking too much time to write the articles by hand and if we print it it can be easily available in so many copies right then we add wave and heat and light if you know that uh, we are having our own ancient weaving industry clothes i'm speaking about the clothes we are having paithani banarasi then um, kashmiri shawls that are all kind of uh, what we call weaven material weaven clothes uh, is the our country's specialty so these kind of machines are helpful to create uh, artistic kind of things right then heat and light if you know that popcorn machine copy coffee making machine right so these are also one kind of machines which help us to heat the popcorn which help us to make the coffee then light means the electricity bulbs right that are helpful to uh, generate to provide us the light of electricity then then we can see here and count and read and write means I, I am now i am teaching you in video class right so how it can be possible just because of phone so my phone can hear me can see me can record me and these all the features are helping me to reach to your home to teach you to explain you the things so these machines are the uh, important part of our life okay means all the machines are our family members if we speak about washing machine washing machine is also doing very important task to reduce our mother's work refrigerator oven that all kind of things are important to make our life easier this is what we are getting from second stanza now let's uh, think about third and fourth stanza want to turn a river in its bed or plant a barren wilderness with wheat shall we pipe aloft and bring you water down from the never falling cisterns of the snow to work the mills and tramways in our your town and irrigate your orchards as it flows here barren wilderness means an infertile piece of land Systems means large containers. Heavens means beauty of nature. We will see these two in next stanza. Let's discuss third stanza. In our third stanza, we are getting information about the dams, then the agricultural use of machines, and then the electricity generating things. 
and then the tramways tramways means the railway tracks right and a barren wilderness means the land which is not good for means the land which is not good for agriculture but by using the machines and latest technologies we can uh, develop that kind of land into a well um, well fertile land for agriculture right for this we are having examples of punjab okay nowadays punjab is one of the most important country in production of wheat we can call it kanak in punjab wheat is called most of the places of punjab wheat is called kanak kanak means gold right in our sanskrit language kanak means gold so uh, what i am uh, telling you about the machines machines are the things which are important to change the uh, flow of the river to change the river beds right so dams are uh, built to protect the uh, what we call it to protect the area around the rivers to create electricity to to generate electricity right then koina dam right bagranangal dam are the most important dams of our country which produce electricity then if we are speaking about the systems means the big lorries big containers can be uh, carried from one place to another with the help of machines only then we have made a lot of tramways railway tracks to to improve our communication in the country okay all over the country we are connected by the ideal uh, railway tracks okay then the irrigate your archer side flows if you know that there are so many kind of instruments which are very important in planting harvesting and uh, to uh, make the soil fertilize in our country so we are using lot of Uh, machines which are important to make the agricultural tasks very easy now let's see the fourth stanza our smoke may hide the heavens or from your eyes it will vanish and the stars will shine again because for all our power and weight and size we are nothing more than children of your brain here tramways means tracks rail tracks of a vehicle that runs along the street of a town and carries passengers heavens means beauty of nature now let's see the fourth stanza in fourth stanza the poet is telling us that ki machine due to machines we are not able to see the beauty of the nature the heaven the clear bright sky the stars at night due to the air pollution it is not possible for us to see the stars like the like we can see in the village then it is not possible for us to enjoy the wildlife in the forest due to our disturbance in the nature due to the uh, what we call overuse of machines in our daily life we are far away from the natural life okay but the poet is telling us though it kind of uh, disturbances are occur due to machines machines are also helpful to enjoy the beauty of the nature so we can if we visit the auditorium or the uh, institutions which are investing in the sky life wildlife or in the uh, water life under the sea right so that kind of uh, technologies that kind of machines like submarine machine then okay which can we use to dive uh, to do the underwater diving then we can water diving right then the uh, technologies which are helpful like the what we call satellites okay rockets are used to know about to know more about the universe and this is what the machines are giving as a gift to us and the poet is saying that the machines size shape power and weight is the main uh, what we call medium main support to get more and more information right and the poet in last line the poet is telling us that keep all the machines are the creation of man means human brain is the generator is the producer of the machines so credit goes to all humans 
who made the machines who made our life easy and though some disturbance is occurred by machines still machines are useful to know more about our nature if you see about if you think about the lockdown period we have learned lot of news about the uh, clarity of atmosphere due to the reduction in the air pollution means i have seen few news regarding the himalayan mountain ranges which are visible from uh, the nearest uh, states okay and then the ganga river pollution level is decreased and it is healing itself the mother earth is also healing itself by fulfilling the ozone gap around our earth so these kind of news helped us to get uh, to get to know and to understand the importance of the natural life okay so machines are also helpful to go to uh, to go beyond the beyond the knowledge and to get and invent more and more more and more information regarding the universe so this is what we learn from the poem from first stanza we learn that how we can made machines the process of making machines from second third stanza we got to know that the importance of machines and what are the kinds of machines and from fourth stanza we learn that the uh, limitations and the benefits of machines so this is what we learn from the poem now it's a time of question answer answer the following question is our first question okay so what is our first question who are we in the poem how do you know we means who we are the machines in the poem we means who the machines okay we are the machines in the poem because the title tells us that the poem is about the machines right how do we know that who are we in the poem we are the machines in the poem because the title tells us that the poem is about machines second question what work do the machines need to do the machines need to turn a river in its bed plant a garden wilderness with wheat bring water down from a great height work the mills and the tramways and irrigate the orchards now third question list any five things we can do with the machines we can pull haul push lift and drive by using the machines right so d number what are the machines building in the fourth stanza here fourth is the mistake okay print mistake write there third stanza so what are the machine building in the third stanza the machines are building a dam in the third stanza third stanza is the correct name noun there erase fourth and write it third in your textbook also d what do you what do the machines mean when they say we are nothing more than children of your brain the machines mean that it is humans who give birth to them they are creations of the human mind now question 2 and 3 is exercise for you you can solve these two questions with the help of your parents now question 4 answer is words having n sound bring and falling falling words having the sound you and your right so this is what about question answers i will give you its pdf you have to solve question 3 2 and 3 of page number 51 by your own one more time i will i am revising i am repeating the homework today's homework is copy the word meaning of poem the secret of the machines in your notebook literature part means copy the word meaning then solve question 1 2 3 and 4 in your notebook literature part thank you